and we're back everybody from the morning run on a saturday uh nine miles at nine minute pace oh so nice going slow uh just bopping along and oh yeah i wanted to mention i did thank you for all the re recommendations two days ago for a heart rate monitor okay the strap i got one i purchased this morning uh from polar the h10 i believe it is called um, so actually, let me pull my phone out real quick. So who knows? I don't know. You guys, you guys know better than me. But supposedly, with the Polar Vantage V, uh, was the watch I used this morning uh, to, uh, to for the run. It says that my average heart rate was 107 beats per minute, and the max heart rate was 121 for that nine minutes a mile. And so you know, everyone out there that trains by heart rate, you guys know better than me whether or not these wrist heart rate monitors are accurate. And that is why I got the, uh, the strap for uh, the H10 from Polar. So onward we go. Oh, I just appreciate your help. Okay, spilling coffee, hon. Yeah. Spilling coffee. Whoa, good job, buddy. Yeah. Is this your school project? Yeah. Oh, Michael. my, my. Michael. Good job. You see, I'll let you do that. That is pretty impressive. Oh, yeah. Oh. Whew. Boys, Papa's running a lot this week. Running a lot this week. Hey, yay, yay. Oh, my, my. Oh, yeah. A little post, little post run uh, breakfast recovery. Okay. Just refueling. It's interesting. Uh, in this training block, I am desiring eggs a lot more than the last training block. Not sure what's up with that. Hello, two love. Uh, it's interesting. I don't know. It's. I just for some reason. Maybe because we're getting better eggs. Maybe because we're getting better eggs. That's right. Higher quality eggs. Maybe it's just a need for like just good old protein. I like just. I don't know. Just to feel the feel. I don't know what's going on. What? Yeah, it's delicious. Mmm, hot sauce. All right, time to go get organized with the boys. So come on. I need your boys' help today. You want to come see Papa's storage unit? Does that sound good? Have you ever been to Have you ever been to my storage unit? No. You want to see the storage unit? Guess what? You guys can bring some cars to push down the hallway because it's a big. Oh. A big long concrete hallway that you guys can so bring like little little cars to push and then we're gonna this is Papa's storage unit for all the shoes okay so so we're gonna throw all the shoes over here okay see what we're gonna do we're gonna go okay okay we're gonna throw all the shoes over Throw it. Yeah, good throw. Good job. Okay, get them all in there. I'll be right back. I fall out, but that's okay. You are okay. Yeah, we're right up here. I'm keeping all the shoes, boys, because we're gonna be able to do more effective running shoe reviews in the future if I can compare old running shoes, like the iterations uh, as they progress through time. Uh, so like the, we have the Pegasus 35, 36, 37, and next year will be the 38. So we're gonna hold on to them uh, just so we can see how the shoe is progressing and see if they're getting better or maybe going backward. So that is the goal here. So we got this storage unit to keep all the shoes nice and, uh, nice and safe. Ciao. Up. Yeah. Woo! This is it. What do you guys think? 
Next load. <laughs> Okay, now boys, you grab it and slide it into place right here in this corner. Yeah, good job, Mike. Michael, look. Look what we built. Look what we built. We built a shelf. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on. See, only shoes with that logo. That's ASICs, okay? This is the glide ride. We're gonna put ASICs on the shelf. Boom, okay, there's another. That's a gel Nimbus light. Original, the OG. Okay, there's the match, yeah. And guess what? Some of the shoes are still in the studio, so there won't be all matches. Go to ASICS. There's the Hyperspeed. We just did a full review of that guy. So, uh, this is the game plan is, again, to build out the, the archive so that we can compare these shoes to future iterations. All right, boys, here's the deal. We're going to need a lot more shelving in here before we can uh, proceed forward, okay? So what? I think I know what we're doing next weekend. I'll tell you that much right now. You guys want to come back next weekend? Yes. Yeah? Okay, you can make sure you grab your cars. Gonna, gonna need, gonna need some more shelves, everybody. I don't have any power tools at my house. I would, you know, I took wood shop for four years of high school, actually in middle school as well. We were one of the, we might even be one, Buena Vista High School might be one of the last from what I understand, one of the last wood shops in high school where you can take metal shop, wood shop, and I took her for four years. I, I, you know, I made some coffee tables, some bookshelves, a bed in high school. I loved it. I love working, my, working with my hands and using power tools, but we just don't have space at this house for power tools, so I'm realizing these shelves that I purchased are fine, but I need some serious uh, shelving inside that storage unit. We're talking, I think the storage unit is at least 10 feet high. So 10 feet, you know, by eight feet, and then, you know, about, you know, I don't know, 14 inches deep. All, anyway, so it's a work in progress over there. And I think the boys had some fun as well. Okay, here is the deal. Wanted to mention that. Um, I'm glad, oh yeah, I said this. What did I say? What did I said this? three days ago. Here we go, here we go, oh yeah. So, uh, we cannot control the future, okay? And this connects to the title of the vlog, uh, but my approach to running and training and racing is that we can prepare for the future as best as we possible. We can't control the future, but we can prepare for the future. So last night, I tweeted out a couple times. First of all, I, I researched the rock and roll half marathon in Arizona. Boom, postponed, not happening in January. I think it was gonna happen January 16th or 17th, 2021. Boom, postponed, glad I checked. And then I was like, about two hours later, I was like, surely the Austin 3M half marathon is still on. Nope, Googled that and I, just to double check, nope. That one is postponed as well, the 3M half marathon in Austin, Texas. So the official half marathon for me at the end of this training block at this point, okay? Again, we can't control the future. We can only prepare for the future. We don't know what's gonna happen, but we just keep putting one foot in front of the other as if we are getting ready for a real race. And at this point, I am getting ready, yes, for, here it is on your screen, a little drum roll please for the Naples, Florida half marathon, okay? At this point, as far as, far as, I've, as I, it was before I hit record on this camera, it is still happening, all right? So actually, uh, a couple vlog fans have already reached out and said, Seth, I'd love to come and help support you on race day, meaning film, get shots for you during the race, and that's amazing. I have your email saved, thank you so much. If you live anywhere near Naples, I don't even know what other town, big cities are around Naples. I think Tampa is kind of close. Anyway, I'm coming to Naples, Florida on January 17th. It's a flat course. Here's the course map. Um, actually, a couple. The reason I found out about this race is that some uh, Olympic trials qualifiers from last year in uh, Atlanta, some of them used the Naples, Florida race as a tune-up race 
for the Olympic trials in Atlanta. That's how I learned about this race. And so I don't know who's gonna show up. I don't know what the competition is exactly gonna be like. Well, here are actually, well, I'll put on the screen some of the times from last year. And that's, you know, kind of in the ballpark of what I wanna do. Obviously, it's not an Olympic trials year this time around. But I'm really hoping, like, I do not want to be in the lead. I don't want to be in first, second, or I want to be, like, that top 10 in a group of guys, you know, chasing down whatever it is, 106, 105, 104, whatever the case may be. So there you go, I'm Naples. And again, if it is, for some reason, postponed or canceled, I actually do already have some backups after Naples just in case. But at this point, January 17th, 2021, Florida, I'm coming for you. All right, everyone. So there you go. Have a great rest of your weekend. I believe it's Sunday when you're watching this, if you're watching, watching it when it publishes. And I'm just, uh, man, one day at a time, including in the, in the storage unit. Oh, man. Hmm. Man, I just got to strategize a little more inside there. It's going to work, but uh, I'm glad we're here's the, I'm glad we're uh, yeah, I'm glad we're doing this now and not like in a year from now so that we can get on top of it before it gets out of control. Okay, everyone. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We will turn it to the half marathon training plan, half marathon training plan in case you want to go check that out. Some thoughts at the beginning of the training block and we're already in week I think seven, I think this is about to start week eight of the training block. Right there, right there, right there. All right, mm. seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.